and got her up pretty high today now. So that's her there now. And the little tail seems to be working fairly well. The wind is coming in that direction. I just have a couple of guys or ropes here at the moment. And I have these uh, fishing rod holders. Fishing rod holders to hold it there. She's going around nicely there now, even though you can have a look at it. Yeah. Normally that would go up another ah, meter or more. So that's my uh, configuration, my DIY job. What are we doing in here? Right, what are we getting? Incoming is, this is the incoming from the wind turbine and that's the battery voltage and I have the little uh, solar charge controller. Yeah. We're coming up now, there's a bit of a gust coming. She is showing solar charge. Will we get her? Oh, come on now, that's a good. Oh, yeah. Right, right, oh, yeah, it's a nice gust there now. Five hundred and fifty. Yeah. We need to be. Go to force four really, force four, force five. They're very short gusts to protect it here. But, uh, yep, yeah, so I'm just uh, just charging a 12 volt battery bank here. So I think that's a 36 ampere hour deep cycle battery. It's supposed to be windier today of course. The forecast was for up to 18, 18 knots. But we're too protected here, we're too protected with all the, the woods, even though it is coming from over there, so we should get it. Well, this is the modification I made uh, to the uh, cutting edge cyclone uh, portable wind turbine, which never worked, so I added um, uh, an EMA. 17 stepper motor um, I cut away a bit at the top to mount it on a bracket and then inside I have the uh, two bridge rectifiers and capacitors uh, connecting up with the existing um, cabling and uh, I just put a one of those uh, five millimeter to five millimeter shaft couplers there with the grub screws and I'm using the existing uh, five bladed uh, cutting edge uh, blades. I uh, wanted something to connect so I just got one of these um, action cam uh, connectors and uh, I fixed it to the, the back of it there and uh, a bit of copper pipe and a bit of perspex just to see, but even that short length, that was the only bit of copper pipe I had. A little bit of Tech 7 to hold it on. Um, I wanted something that was portable so I could just undo this, like the action cams, and remove the uh, the fin. So that seemed to work. That seems to work out okay. That's just um, my 3D printed uh, one litre milk bottle uh, rain cap just to keep everything off it. Now, um, I've since noticed, noticed that this, this uh, is about 75 millimeters diameter which would come close to either a 75 millimeter PVC uh, end cap uh, or a two and a half inch end cap so I'm half thinking I might just bring it all um, in line to get rid of any turbulence caused by or any um, foul air caused by this unit being up here it might be more efficient if it's in line. Um, at the moment I'm just trying out, I have it set up series but uh, so far every time I come down I know I'm in a sheltered place for the winter now but um, it seems to need about uh, 
12, 12 knots to start generating above battery voltage so that's been making me about uh, force 3 to force 5. Um, the question is do I go for series and uh, live with uh, less less maybe three to four hundred milliamps but more regular that's the and uh, start generating at low wind speeds that's something I gotta figure out before I do the final mod okay so here we are back at home there's the, the NEMA 17 stepper motor on the bracket um, I'm going to go with uh, putting it out the front uh, I'm after getting this uh, socket 75 mil socket I had a short piece of pipe where I had a stub where I'd cut off the thread before but that'll do and I'm after getting a, a cap unfortunately I could only get the uh, PN16 of that shed 80 cap I couldn't get a shed 40 and that's quite heavy but I should be able to cut off the blue line is there I should really cut that much off I won't need it and this lent on the socket so I'll be able to cut off here should help to reduce the weight because that's heavy enough so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, I'm going to mount it this this way but a lot closer in unfortunately the weight has gone moved away from the the fulcrum or the yaw point but I can't do anything about that because I can't with the internal that I can't uh, get the motor in here without having to do some milling or whatever but in any case I have the uh, I have the diodes and capacitors and that in there and, and of course the slip ring so I need that so I'll have to keep the motor um, just about here somewhere um, now I did try the uh, the USB but just took the cover up off there to have a look of it uh, so I get the uh, HY1713 www.jjt.car.com over there but uh, on test there now uh, today with, with uh, a bit more wind um, I got maybe up to once just quickly went up to 600 milliamps but most of the time it was three to 400 milliamps but the voltage was very disappointing 4.4 4.5 it might have touched 4.6 for a short period of time and again I had the same problem on test here I mean USB 2 specs if I remember rightly something between 4.85 and 5.25 volts so this thing can't even come up into the spec even though Carl they say that this uh, turbine can do a uh, five volts two amps, they're they're only using the spec of this, but it doesn't even there are fierce losses in that. So I'm going to dispense with that. I don't even I don't need it. I won't be using it. So the mods are to dispense with the USB, uh, mount the uh, stepper motor in line, but go for series. Now that'll bring the voltage up higher, which wouldn't have suited the USB anyway, because. Um, on a best bench test open socket I was getting 44 45 volts peaking on on that so uh, I'm going to go with the series and live with the, the lower well I'll be just getting the phase current we'll see how we get on